Crystal Clinic Orthopedic Center, a physician-owned orthopedic hospital, brings together Greater Akron's most respected group of orthopedic surgeons at locations that are just convenient for you, which yes. is, that's always nice. That's what it's about, right? Yeah. So here to talk to you about their latest innovations is orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Dan Meyer. It's great to have you here today. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming in. So, you know, we're gonna start with some of the new options for knee replacement surgery, because that's a big one mm -hmm. with people. Yeah. It's a very common procedure we do, yeah. and there's always innovative technology from new metals and new plastics, um, and uh, over the last several years, different ways of putting in those metals and plastics have kind of um, uh, improved our abilities to do even better what we've been doing well for years. Oh, good. So you're going to talk about the Mako robot? Yeah. This sounds cool. Yeah. <laughs> is it literally sounds a robot? Yeah, it, it's one of those, when I first heard about it years ago, it was one of those, is that really being done? because um, I picture a robot doing all the work. And yeah. the nice thing about the Mako is, is I'm still the surgeon and I still do the surgery. Mm -hmm. um, the benefit of the Mako is it allows me to, to program where I want to put the metal and plastic. Um, I'm still doing the surgery. It's just doing the actual programming both before surgery and during surgery. And for example, taking a bow-legged knee and making it straight. Um, I make the analogy of, of a car and, and tires. Um, you don't just put new tires on the car. You want to align the, the, the tires first. So the robot allows us to align the knee and take that bow-legged knee and make it straight and do it with robotic technology, unlike a lot of other parts of our society have, have well adopted to. So does that help with precision? Yeah, the, the, the reason I, I started looking into this several years ago is I see a lot of, from the young sports injuries to mm -hmm. the 70, 80 year olds, and I see a lot of people that needed partial knee replacements. And that has gone through cycles of um, in favor and out of favor because it's very hard to balance that. And with the advent of the robot over, over 10 years ago, the data was better with a partial knee replacement to make it more balanced. Mm -hmm. So you weren't over, oversighting the, the other good side. Um, and that's what started the whole process in my, my curiosity years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and now it has since enveloped into total knee replacements. Um, and it just makes it within less than a millimeter of where I want to put it, um, which is the longevity benefit of that. Hmm. I feel like you hear quite common knee problems. I mean, yeah. you know, a lot of you might be suffering. So who should consider a knee replacement surgery? At what point does that happen? Yeah, that, that's a very um, generic answer, but a patient specific. And there's a lot of variables and a lot of it comes down to, in my opinion, expectations and what you want out of your knee. Um, and that may be the young 40 year old, that may be my grandparents age. Um, and it has to do with when you're not doing the things in life that you want to do, kids, dog, activities, running and it's all, all variable and patient specific um, and you're altering your goals and your daily activity um, and, and other non-surgical things aren't working, that's when it comes time to discuss potential for a replacement. Okay. So is there someone with, you know, knee injuries that needs knee replacement surgery, but maybe, like who's a good candidate specifically for the Mako robot is what yeah. I'm asking. I mean, I use the robot on all of my knee replacements from partial okay. knee replacements um, and it may be the 32 year old, it may be the partial and an 80 year old. Mm. It has to do with which part of the knee is bad. Um, but I use the Mako robot because I want to have the best predictable, tangible outcomes for everybody, selfishly. Yeah. And if I can do that and not cost the patient anymore, because we can do this without any more cost to the patient, wow. um, it doesn't cost me any more time in surgery. Once the first um, couple months of doing it, you equilibrate to your pre robot times. Um, in my opinion, if I can give a tangible, better outcome, um, why not do it for everybody? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We only have a few seconds, but is recovery time the same? Some studies show it's quicker. Okay. I, I don't sit there and promote that and say that's the reason to do it. That's added bonus, but yeah. um, it's definitely not longer. That's, that's a good thing. Awesome. Thank right? you so much for sitting down okay. with us. Thank you. And we have more information for you at home. Crystalclinic.com. You can check that w website out. And we also have danielmeyermd.com too for more information. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate you.